we all have miraculous nano neurotechnology in our skulls. We are all geniuses. We are all divinely created and inspired. The world that we grew up in is not the world that's going to be here. That world is unsustainable and it is collapsing. And we had better be ready to create a new world and be ready for an explosion of ideas, concepts, and technologies that have been suppressed, for example. And in order to get our heads around that, we're all going to have to operate at a genius level. Get off the TV, get away from the old ways of thinking. We're going to have to adapt. We have to be resilient. And I think also, I think there's an energy suppression grid, like a cognitive suppression grid, an actual prison planet system that is in place. And when that is lifted, and I believe it will be in our lifetimes, what people are going to experience in terms of an explosion of creativity, awareness, awakening, connection, what I've called the contagious mind. It's going to blow people's minds. They, they won't even recognize their own past compared to where we're going. And I want to be clear that every person watching this was born with this capability. Uh, you could call it technology, but it's, it's much more than that. I call it God's cloud computing system or God's internet. There's a system of sharing knowledge and information that exists that you are using, whether you realize it or not. And information comes to you through an unconscious means because every every brain interfaces with a non-material mind and every mind is a broadcast antenna and every idea especially if you verbalize it if you add words to an idea or if you draw it and you see it you add different senses to the reality of what you're talking about it could be an invention it could be an idea it could be a prayer it could be anything that is broadcast out to the world and other people receive it whether they realize it or not and in mainstream science it's called the hundredth monkey uh, phenomenon but it's not just monkeys it's every conscious creature and being and animal and human on the planet networking exists among plants too by the way and, and not just on a chemical basis but energetic basis uh, naturally every human being receives this information information about knowledge and ideas concepts but we are trained to ignore it we are trained to not listen to the inner voice to not pay attention to intuition because we're trained that we live in a reductionist materialist society where knowledge can only come from quote authoritative sources which are all run by criminals and crooks of course by the way but what we need to do for humanity to move forward is we need to awaken the true potential that we have to share knowledge and ideas and to listen to each other. Premonition is real and it's natural. I just want to be clear. These are not supernatural skills, uh, so-called psychic phenomenon. Premonition is real. Mother's intuition about her child is real. It's natural. It's not supernatural. There's nothing super about it. There's nothing demonic because God built this system, people. God built it and you, you were built to interface with the system, we just have to get back to using this system.